the largest party in Perikatan is PAS. PAS is also the largest party in Parliament. And I wonder how you feel about that because you spent a large part of your first tenure as Prime Minister trying to fight the Islamists, trying to fight PAS, and you were always on about a moderate Islam, a yeah. tolerant Islam that's open. You even used scientific and rational a lot and you said PAS was more extreme yeah. and PAS was more conservative. Uh, so how how do you feel about that now that PAS is the largest party in the... Do you think you have failed in that regard? Because you spend your, your life fighting... PAS is not rigid. It. it changes depending upon the situation. It was able, ab even able to join with a party which has a DAP in it, despite saying that right. uh, Muslims uh, working with non-Muslim will become uh, infidels. But they work with the AP. Subsequently, they broke away from the AP. But today, PAS realized that uh, Islamic extremism is not something that they would like to follow. They are not like the Taliban at all. They don't kill people. But mm -hmm. they want to work with other parties. And to work with other parties, they must not be extreme in their... Uh, well, objectives. So I, I've met them many times and uh, they they are not even claiming to be a candidate for prime minister. They suggested other people from other parties to be candidate. So they are not uh, going after uh, full authority of prime minister. All right. So you would say that the past of 2023 is yes, different yes. from the past that you fought yeah, quite definitely. when you were... At that time, friend. you know, I fought against them because they said that uh, I work with non-Muslim, therefore I'm not a Muslim. But now they're talking to me. Right. So that means that their, right. their <laughs> opinion of me has changed. 